And we're live on Mixer. I believe we're live on both. Oh, great. Hey, we How are. Awesome. And then people are popping in here and stuff. Cool. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. It's okay. Wednesday and it's Box Talk Day. Yeah. Box Talk. So I don't know how many of you are popping in here uh, after listening to Mooney on the radio, but he did a really good job. He well, thank really, you. You did a really good job. You really did. I was in there listening, and I think the best part of the entire show was when you gave me a shout out. Well, I figured that's what you figured with the best part of the show. I kind of had a feeling that that's the case. So, yeah, I know how that goes. Um, no, 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 no. You did a great job. You really did. It was a great show. You did a really, really good job. And um, my favorite part, I, of course, it's going to be my favorite part, is when you were talking about my dad at the end there. See, see, I was listening to the whole thing. Yeah, heard- you listened to all of it. You did really good. I did. Hey, I got to support you and back you up. And I tell you I'm always there, so I am. Yeah, thank you. That was awesome. Cause it, yeah. <laughs> and, and I got to give a shout out to the uh, to, to the uh, ghostly gals over there. They they were uh, amazing. They did a great job. And awesome. Had a lot of fun with them. They, it's cool to find another show where everybody's so laid back and, and uh, you know, spirit communication is a reality. And it's like you don't have to go in there and, and find yeah. They're like, hey, it's normal to us. I was like, I really think you two are pretty cool. So we had. You were like, I finally, I don't have to fight with people. (laughs) Yeah, because it's crazy, guys. I mean, how many times, you know, I get on these shows and they're ready to just battle with me. I'm like, oh boy, here we go again. Here we go. But no, it's fun. It's fun. I want to definitely say hi to everybody who's popping in. We're starting to have everybody kind of come in here. Kyle, what's up? Collect. uh, Christine, Debbie, Irene, uh, Angel says hola from St. Paul. Um, Let's see. uh, Chrissy's in there. Uh, Oh, hi, Chrissy. Rachel, Coral, Wright, Kendall, Victoria, uh, Ashley is in there. Uh, awesome. Let's see. Vicky, Jeanette, Linda, Paul, Rachel. Every, hey, guys. Awesome. Thank you for all coming in. We really appreciate it. Hey, do us a favor, guys. Share uh, this video to your wall right now and just let people know that you are uh, hanging out with us, getting the word out. I know that there was kind of a... a weird start time tonight and a lot of people are thinking it was uh, the bottom of the hour but it's actually 15 after so um 15 after yeah i know a lot of people were like it's eight o'clock where are you guys not yet not yet not yet hold on hold on uh we also uh want to read a few more because we got some new people in here we got patty um hey patty scott we're doing well thank you uh mary ellen hey how are you uh, we got Heidi from Lafayette, Indiana. We got Tatiana. I love that name. Hello, Mooney and Dee from New Mexico. Uh, Hello. Kyle, Maria, Nicole. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Thanks for popping in. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, tonight's show is going to be a little bit shorter uh, than what we normally do. We're only going to run about an hour tonight. The reason for that is is that uh, me and Mama Moon and Dee, we all got to get to NOLA. We're all heading out to New Orleans. <laughs> we got to get out there real quick. Like, um, But tell them what I'm doing. Oh, you you got to make the drive. You're driving all the way to where? San Antonio, right? San Antonio. When am I driving, Moon? Uh, right after the show. Right after the show, so, guys. Yeah, we <laughs> we could have gotten the full two hours, but we wanted to make sure the D uh, arrives in San Antonio safely and gets on the plane to uh, New Orleans because that's where we're heading. Yeah. Uh, Sin, hey, nice to meet you. Uh, we got she's new here. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Hi. Vicky, Thanks Tina, Rachel. Thank you, guys. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you all for hanging out. We've had some interesting stuff happen. I just really quickly wanted to start, guys, uh, by kind of giving you the rundown on stuff that's going on right now. Um, I put some links up on the page, if you guys can see those, uh, about what we do. Uh, if you haven't got your copy yet, please go out and purchase your copy of Ghost Box, Voices from Spirits, ETs, Shadow People, and Other Astral Beings. Um, that's the book that me and Mama Moon wrote. Uh, it's out in every major bookstore around the world, every major website. You can buy it anywhere. Uh, once you do read it, please put a review up. That's the way that things have been going. We love our box talkers. We love our fans. These are the people who um, have made the book number one for eight straight days on Amazon.com. We really appreciate you guys doing that. Thank you guys. We love you. Hugs and kisses. Uh, Wanted to tell you really quickly, uh, we are, uh, like I mentioned, going to be heading out uh, tomorrow to, uh, (laughs) we're getting in a day early, but we are going to be at the Metaphysical Resource Center in New Orleans. It's uh, uh, an amazing place. Uh, I've heard some great things about it. We've never been to this specific center, but of course, love New Orleans, love all the people down there, Um, love the support that you guys have always shown us. Uh, This is going to be Dee's first time down there. Uh, We are going to be doing a Moon Family uh, Psychic Experience presentation plus Dee. It's the Moon Dee Tour. 
on Friday night. We're going to be doing uh, everything from psychic readings to some uh, demonstrations with healing, uh, things along those lines. So please, if you are in the New Orleans area, if you know people in the New Orleans area, please let them know and uh, send them our way because tickets are really inexpensive for the event. I think they're only $25 to come in for uh, our two-hour gallery reading. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we're going to be doing um, private readings for those next two days. So if you know anybody down there, please do it. It's going to be absolutely awesome. We're going to have a great time. So come hang out with us. It's going to be fun. Awesome. 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 That's exciting and stuff. Yes. Very exciting. Um, I... Oh, D, did we lose you? D, D, come back to us. D, we can't hear you. D, she went robotic and then she disappeared. D, D, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. No volume. We have lost you. We've lost D. D's volume is nil. D, come back to us. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. We've lost you. D, is it me? Can you guys still hear me? Let me know if you can still hear me in the chat room, please. Guys, just let me know. I know we're on it. Uh, yeah, see, everybody's saying D, no volume. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Uh, we have lost your volume. You've either muted yourself or uh, your internet's gone wacky. Please come back. Please come back. Uh, while Dee is fixing her uh, issue with the uh, Skype aspect of things, I'm sure you guys can see we have a troll who's in the chat room. So uh, we always say our hashtag is no darkness allowed. F fight the angry faces with love, guys. Just send them some, give some hearts and some thumbs up and some happy, happy times. And uh, yeah, let them know. Dee, are you with us? D, can you hear us? D cannot hear us. Can you hear us? I thought I could hear D, but I guess I couldn't. Yep, everybody can hear me, but not D. We're going to have D keep working on that. Um, what I might do is actually, sorry for the for the uh, technical difficulties here, guys. What I might do is actually uh, just hang up and try to get D back if we can, because she's having issues she cannot hear. I love you guys. Thank you so much for uh, for sending the hearts and the love and everything like that. Remember, guys, uh, the best way to, to do battle with trolls is to just send them lots of love and feel bad for them because they're probably not happy people and they probably don't have a whole lot in this world. So there's no sense in being angry and mean. Just, you know, send them some love. Let them know it's okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Laura. I appreciate it. Um, Lori says, hi. Says, hi oh, 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 can oh, you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, 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 no, I'm making no, I'm... Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Can you hear me? What happened? Everything's gone wacky. It bounced back at me twice. Why can't you hear me? I can hear you now. Can you hear me? There's. I, I can't figure out why he can't hear me at all. Now they can't hear me. Um. Now they can't hear me. And now I can't hear Mooney at all. Can you guys still hear me at all? Like at all. Because I can hear D. <laughs> <laughs> gotta gotta love the show. Gotta love how it all goes, guys. Just hang in there. Mm -hmm. you, you can hear us both. Okay, D can't hear me. I don't me. know what happened. D can't hear me, so uh, we've kind of lost her. I don't know what's going on. Trying to fix it, and I can't. I'm going to... Uh... Do, do, do. <laughs> okay, guys, the fun can't of all this. Hear anything. I'm going to actually mm -hmm. hang up on D, and then I'm going to try to call her me, back. But I can't hear you. I'm going to try to call her back. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh my God. It finally happened. I was just, I was literally getting ready to hang up on you. I know over here. Like at first I could hear you and then you went away. Then I couldn't hear you. And then I'm like, I don't know if he can hear me talking, but I'm trying to get him. In the... Oh it my got, God. It got crazy guys. I don't know what happened there, but that's all right. Everything's okay. We're back. Yay. Love you guys. Yay. So anyway, D just to let you know what happened. I have to give you the update. We had a little, troll, yeah. we had a troll pop into our, our, um, space and i want to tell you that the box talkers handled it with love and care they sent lots of hearts and healing for the person who was miserable thank you that is awesome i'm glad that they because that's how we handle them guys we handle them you know with love by telling them listen you know i love you and uh sorry you feel the way you feel but I'm not gonna let you bring me down and that's just how it is, guys. That's just yeah. how it is. So, it yeah. is, it is. But anyways, yeah. 
just uh, yeah, I wanted to really quickly jump into the show because I know everybody's getting frustrated. They're like, hey, are we going to do a show or, or <laughs> what's going to happen here? Yeah. Yes, yes, guys, we are going to do a show. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you for getting through the uh, technical difficulties with us because we are going to do a show. That's going to go. <laughs> I love the way you said we're going to do a show. Oh, wait, before we do the show, did you see my new nails? Oh, yeah, I did, but show everybody else. Ooh, can, you, can you see them? Ah. <laughs> look, look, Ooh. there's a look. What is that? Are you flipping me is? off? Are no, fl- <laughs> can you see what that is? Yeah, oh, it's I'm moons. Not it's moons. Oh, you're hanging out with the moons. So you got moons. Yeah, I got moons. And then look at my look, look, watch. Let me show you. Can you see? Can you oh, see my thumb? And suns. Yeah. Wow, you got suns and moons. Sun yeah. moons. Sun moons. You got <laughs> sun, sun moons. moons. See? <laughs> And I wasn't flipping you off. It's the ring finger. <laughs> yes, I know. I saw. Oh, uh, people are asking. I need to uh, pass this on really quickly. Yes, 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 guys. I want to give you the update because um, I've actually been I, – I didn't announce this on Facebook because I wanted to do it here with everybody who um, is so awesome. They're box talkers. We love you guys. We love your support. And I have to tell you, um, we – Mama Moon, myself, D, everybody, I want to tell you from the bottom of my heart personally and from my mom, because she's not here with me, she has absolutely thanked each and every single one of you um, for the love, for the prayers, for all the uh, things that have, the, you, the good energy you guys have been sending her. And absolutely. she, during the surgery yesterday, she told me immediately after the surgery, she said, please let everybody know, uh, all the box talkers or box cults, as she likes to call you guys, <laughs> said, let everybody know how much it means to me that they all did that for me. And she said she literally, literally could feel the love and healing energy from everybody there. Um, she had a potentially really negative negative prognosis of what was coming out. And when I say that, I'm just going to put it out there now. We were really afraid that uh, we were looking at, at uh, a pretty aggressive cancer. And um, I, I am pleased and proud to tell everybody here today that uh, as of about a few hours ago, she has been completely cleared by her doctor um, of any uh, possibility of that being the case. Oh, so she literally has a clean, it's amazing. Bill, yeah, clean bill of health. And I, and I'm not just saying this guys, I am dead honest with you uh, in this situation. Uh, I was scared to death and, and I usually can pick mm, up yeah. things quickly. Um, and I really felt that there was something happening there and i really truly believe that it was all of you guys the positive love the energy the healing the 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 just immense outpouring that you guys gave that brought her through this and and i uh i want it from the bottom of my heart and my soul and from my mom i want to thank you all so much uh for for everything so guys we are indebted to you forever uh we love you all and uh we just want to tell you how much we appreciate everything uh that you your families uh, everyone did thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much absolutely that's awesome i'm i'm so happy to hear that she's been completely cleared i was i was you know also worried and and just you know just trying to concentrate everything on just you know hoping for the best and sending her all that healing and you know and I'm just so happy that uh, that they gave her that clean bill of health. That's that's amazing to hear. Yeah, it, it really is a miracle, guys. Because I'm telling you, when um, when she first started having the issues that she was having, I, I got that sinking feeling. And usually, I'm pretty accurate when when somebody's very ill or there's something very bad about to happen. I can feel it, and and I felt mm-hmm. that that was going to be. But I, I'm telling you, it, it was uh, a couple of days before the surgery happened, and everybody really started sending the the super positive energy. It just felt like things shifted. It felt like things went in a whole different direction. So, and that's how important that is. You know, we've talked about it before, and uh, talked about when everybody collectively together on you know is on the same level of consciousness, and everyone's concentrating, and everyone's focusing on sending out those positive vibes and healing vibes and just what what people can do with their mind and their intent when you put it out there it's amazing you you know it we really can do more than what we're aware of and it's just things like that you know it goes to show that you know to prove that when we all get together for the same goal the same you know reason miracles can happen yeah. um I yeah totally, and totally agree 
I want to say, uh, and it's re- really important, there's a young lady, young lady from here, from, from Brownsville, Texas. Her name is Vanessa Perez, and she was in a terrible, terrible, terrible car accident uh, a couple of days back. Um, several people here know her. Uh, she's a, f- a very good friend of David's, uh, is on, on his route of work, and uh, my, my daughter's dance teacher knows her very well. I know who she is, but um, I have a lot of people that were very close to her, and right now she's fighting for her life. Um, it's a very sad situation. She's very young, and she's fighting for her life, and it doesn't look good. And I just would really, really, right now, from the bottom of my heart, would love it if everybody could just send her. Her name is Vanessa Perez. She's from Brownsville, Texas. Send her all the positive prayers and just healing and all that positive energy her to her and to her family because they're going through a very difficult time right now. And um, she's she really is fighting for her life right now. She's I, I don't know. It, we don't know what's going to happen. So... You know, as we were saying, when everybody, you know, together concentrates and focuses on sending that, p- those prayers and positive energy, miracles happen. I, I just really, guys, I really, it's very important to me that, and and I'm asking everyone to please focus and and send Vanessa Perez from Brownsville, Texas, your positive healing um, energy and prayers and to her family as well. Thank you. Well, she's definitely got got mine. Uh, sending absolute prayers for me and I, I i know all the box talkers will concentrate in on that and, and help out the best uh best that they possibly can um thank you thank you yeah whatever we can do to to, to help with that one um yeah Whew, that's tough especially young I life know. it's really it's a really difficult when stuff like that happens so uh sending love uh to her and her family and, and hopefully uh we can can get her through this or at least help in getting her through it Thank you, thank you. It's tough. It's it's a sad situation. Like I said, she's very young, and um, it's uh, it's it's sad. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. First they lost the, the family. First lost their baby, the, the their baby, and now their daughter Vanessa is fighting for her life. So it's it's a, it's a very sad situation. So if everyone can just together, just send send the family and send Vanessa Perez all your healing energy and thoughts and prayers. It would mean the world to a lot of people here in Brownsville. So. Yeah, I think that that's huge. I think that that's something that we definitely uh, need to focus on, guys, if we can. Thank you. Um, okay, on on a positive note, I just want to do a little bit positive note. I want yes, to, yes. I, want, I want to say uh, happy birthday to a good friend of ours in the show, uh, Elizabeth Saint from Ghost that's of Shepherd's right. Town. Happy birthday, Elizabeth! Uh, if you're out there listening, we want to we want to uh, wish you a very happy birthday, and and uh, you know um, make sure it's a great day for you. So happy that's birthday! That's right. You. Happy birthday, L. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's her birthday today. I I sent her all these stalker-like messages, <laughs> birthday messages on Twitter and on Facebook, and we've got this running joke. Her and I like she'll like she'll either tweet me or on Facebook. She just like whenever she feels like it, she'll be like, "I see you," and she like puts the little I <laughs> eyeballs like we're we pretend we're stalking each other. Right. So I did that. I like I sent her a birthday, <laughs> and I'm like, "Happy birthday, hey, I see you." And then she didn't. She I saw on Twitter she responded to somebody else's, so I went full on stalker <laughs> after that one. I I retweeted it and I put, hey, lady, I said happy birthday to you first. <laughs> Pay attention to me. <laughs> and I put the eyeballs. <laughs> I nice. know she saw that one, but she's probably going to get creeped out. But we always do that to each other. She'll like, she'll tweet me or, or Facebook me the same thing. Like, I see you. I'm in the bushes. <laughs> like, <laughs> real creepy. Like that. Sometimes, though, when she says, I'm like, I'll look at it at a moment when there actually is like a bush behind me or something. Like, wait, wait is she? <laughs> <laughs> is she really there? Yeah. Is she really in the bush behind me? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But no, no, no. She hasn't been yet, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. That's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, d- detox for a second because I've got somebody who's trying to get in my room. So if you could talk oh, for a second, no, I'll be right back. Oh, no. not be Bond because uh, that's I got to do it. I, I, I got to save my door. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, guys. So Mooney will be right back. He's going to go get someone that's trying to get into And we all know. We all know who that is. It's going to be Bond. And he's going to come and probably steal the show and for like 20 minutes i'm not going to be able to concentrate because i'm going to be busy staring at oh here we go here we go sorry about that here you go here we go here we go this is our secondary co-host this is bond oh no oh no <laughs> i'm not I, i'm not gonna be able to look at the the facebook live because oh no oh, look at him there i go <laughs> yep yep it's over Oh, it's over. Oh, I look. He's so cute, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay.
Okay, guys, let's concentrate. I'm yes, not going to look we're focusing dumb. in now. We're focusing in. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the show like this, looking that way. Okay, do the show that way. <laughs> it, it's been one of those shows already, guys. We're kind of off, off uh, subject, off topic already, but that's okay. It's all right. <laughs> oh, he's cute. Okay, anywho. <sighs> all right, I'm going to concentrate this time. We are back. We are back. We are back. We're we are to, back. We're ready to do readings. We're, we're yes, we are. Okay. So, hey, hey guys, we're, we're here. We're here. Um, I, Bond wants to play right now. I apologize. This is not normal Bond. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bond. Um, real quick, Linda Marquise has an important question. She yes. says, my nephew Harry, my nef, my nephew Harry's and, and pick me. What? Okay. Mm, Harry's nan. Okay, okay, I get it. My nephew. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I, I get what you're trying to say. Okay. Anyways, but I'll read you the question. Sorry. Yeah. Mooney. Go ahead. Says, my nephew Harry's nan passed this morning. Anything uh, for him from her? This is from Linda Marquise. Her nephew Harry's nan passed in the morning, and she wants um, to know. There's. Uh, she's actually still in transition. She's. Um, She's, I'm supposed to let you know that she is safe, uh, but she's still in the transition stage. Um, sometimes when people uh, first cross over, they really have difficulty uh, uh, in, uh, in speaking back to this world. Um, I, I really feel that she's, uh, she's making first contacts right now. Um, okay. But uh, I, I also want to let you know uh, there is an older gentleman with uh, – he's a little heavy. He has suspenders, um, bald. Uh, who is, uh, he's letting me know, he's waving at me, and he's letting me know that she is going to make contact again soon, uh, but she needs some time for healing. All right, awesome. Um, real quick, when you want to explain what the show is, I saw a comment in there. Can you explain what this is? Oh, my God, explain this what is a, show is. <laughs> it's a, it's a dumpster fire. Um, no, I'm just kidding. It's, uh, <laughs> no, uh, basically what we do in this show, I'm I'm Chris Moon, Mooney, uh, psychic medium, uh, most and well- I am. Well, let me finish my what I do. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Chris Moon, a psychic medium known as the electronic medium, most well known for my use of the ghost box. I am the person who named it Frank's box, started using it in the field, and now I use it to uh, connect people with their loved ones and their own voices. And then there is Dee Garcia. Go ahead, Dee. No, you're doing a good job. Oh, Dee Garcia is a pretty cool chick. Um, anyway, so – no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, D D is my awesome co-host. Uh, she is a psychic as well. She's a healer. Um, she is my uh, young Padawan, uh, and uh, together uh, we form the Moon Detour. That's right. And 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 I'm also a spirit artist. You she is a spirit artist. I'm sorry. I was trying to give you as much credit as I could, but you kind of put me on the spot. So. Um. And I am a spirit artist. I can do spirit art, and I can do readings using a pendulum, and angel card readings, and butterfly readings, and all that good stuff. So why didn't you just do the intro for yourself? Because <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna get it right. Well, I did get it right. You just added in all the extra stuff. That's no, that's good stuff. <laughs> and then I, I, I do exorcisms and healings and energy shifts and <laughs> and I do an egg ritual. And I help with the egg ritual. Yeah, you do. We're a good team, we you are, and I. We're pretty good. We're, we do. Yeah, good. we are. We're Lots good. Lots of good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ashley King says something. I've ha- I've been having so much fun with Ashley King. So Ashley went to Barnes and Noble and purchased the book, and she sent me a picture of the book mm-hmm. that she was buying. And she's like, "Here, it's me. I promise, I'm doing it." So Ashley has literally, I think, every night since she's gotten the book, has sent me a new question about the book. Like, "Hey, what'd you mean by that?" So it's been like interactive reading. It's been really cool. Anyway, oh, cool. So Ashley says, "So Moon, like that." I was going to read your book, but here. Uh, but here you are, you two are on, and now you bring a cute puppy on the show. Ah, by the way, I'm sorry for all my questions. She's talking about the question she asked me about the book. Um, <laughs> I know you probably shook your head a few times. LOL, everyone. It's a must buy. Get it now. Awesome. That's what she said. Yes, Ashley. Ashley McCollum. I found my pendulum. Oh, but you weren't supposed to say that in front of Mooney. I told you he'll get mad at me. He thinks I almost lost it. Now he's quiet. Are you there? Oh, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I have to track everything down for you. I have to follow you around like you're a little kid. I have to pack your bag. I've got to follow you everywhere you go. <laughs> what do you do when I'm not there? That's what I wonder. <laughs> I, I I found it, though. <laughs> Can 
<laughs> guys, I I also we didn't tell anybody that we were when we were in Oakland. We didn't tell Jim or anyone, but I lost my ID in Oakland. <laughs> she lost her ID. She couldn't get on the plane. <laughs> he was so mad at me. Oh, I was so mad. I was like, of all the things in the world, how could you lose your ID? Oh my god. <laughs> I did, guys. I lost, and that's I probably lost it because you weren't keeping track of it. Oh, oh. I will not be blamed for that mess. <laughs> no, that was my fault. That was your fault. Stop. That it. was my fault. It was, but, but I did. I. Hey, I, I, hey, hey, seagulls. Poke your knees. No, stop, stop it, it now. now. That's what I'm trying stop to tell you. Stop it now. All right. So, um, Teresa Lynn says, Moody and D, hello. Just got off work early and jumped on to see you guys. Well, thank you so much, Teresa, for jumping in and hanging out with us. We're having one of those shows. It's one of those. We got, uh, mm -hmm. we're, we're off track. We got dogs running around. Audio's not working, but it's okay. We're, we're all okay. together. It's the families together. We're all hanging out. Everything's good. Um, the, the, uh, box talkers want me to let you know about something that happened last night. Uh-oh. Um, so after our show, Dan and I went to go broadcast on our Phenomenon Encountered page, mm -hmm. and they think you will be interested in something that happened. <laughs> really? Yes. So Dan and I were just talking about pretty much nothing, right? We were just... Um, <laughs> As usual. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. We were just bantering back and forth. And then Dan stops and he says, wait, 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 wait. Dee, do you see what's happening in the chat room? And I... Um, I, I look in the chat room and I didn't notice anything. He's like, do you see two people that are getting along? <laughs> Kyle's already saying OMG, D. He's like, do you see two people that are getting along just wonderfully? And I'm like, what? what, what is it? He's like, look at look at Lupita and Kyle. And, and then he tells me, is Lupita your friend? And I'm like, dude, come on. By now he should know who Lupita is, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, that's my sister. He's like, oh, D, D, well, your sister and Smile Kyle are getting along great. It looks like, wait a minute, it looks like they're – flirting with each other so then they start going back and forth they're like flirting uh -oh. with each other back and forth and at first we're all like but i think look see do you see the little icons at the i do i'm the... watching right now so they're like they're like um <laughs> we start saying but isn't kyle like he's already got a you know he's got a situation yeah. you know he's he's got and then they're like well you know love is love and blah blah <laughs> So, well, long story short, I don't even know how this happened, but Kyle ends up proposing to my sister on the chat room. Dear God, Kyle. <laughs> so he proposes to my sister, and my sister says yes, but you're going to like this part. Yes. Um, they decided they're going to get married, and they already chose a location. And where would that be? Colorado. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll have nothing to do with this. <laughs> I can't be a, I can't be party to this. I'm sorry. It's not going to work. <laughs> Why not? You can't crush somebody's dreams. <laughs> they were off the they were off the chain. They were going back and forth. They were and then and then Kyle promised her that he would give her an Irish kilt dance. Oh dear God. <laughs> <sighs> so that actually is not topic for show. That's like, you know, our banter stuff. But I needed to get that out there because the, the listeners were like, tell Mooney what happened. Tell Mooney what happened. They've been telling me since last night they want me to like, yeah. And he said he was going to give her a, a private Irish kilt dance. I don't, and then, I don't ever want to think about that again. <laughs> he mentioned Nessie. <laughs> But now Mooney. <clears throat> oh my God, Coral! Look at that. Coral Ann says, "I want to watch." Whoa! <laughs> I believe it's a private, private kill dance. <laughs> oh, oh, smile, oh, Kyle. Oh no, no, no! I need to stop because this is triggering an old character, and we can't have that. Oh no, 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 <laughs> no! Oh no! No, no, no! That would be bad. That would be very bad. I can't. It's, she, she's fighting. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Can't do it. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow. She's fighting to come out. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, Joyce is a first-time viewer, and she's like, what is wrong with all these people? That's exactly what she's saying right now. She's like, what is Oh, okay. This? Joyce, okay. We're sorry. Right now, we're actually we're off topic. We're not supposed to be. We are. <laughs> Joyce, I promise we really do have a show. 
Uh, we do have a show, and we uh, just went into inside joke sort of yeah. time, and, and we've probably thrown off all the new people because of it. Sorry, oh, guys. Sorry. Yep, sorry. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. So, <laughs> well, let's get back on track. So uh, let's start reading questions. <laughs> when he got so quiet. Mooney, I'm sorry. That's all I was going to say. Let's go. Let's continue with the show. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. All right. So we're going to read some questions. Let's see. Um, It says, mm, uh, I don't have any questions over here. Do you have questions over there? Oh, I have so many questions. Go ahead. So many Oh, from the audience. No, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Let me see if they have any questions for us. Yeah. Uh, okay. So Timothy Moore says, "Can you please tell me if anyone around in the house is around in the house that I live in? Do they have any messages for me and my family?" Oh, do do do. Um, interesting. Okay. And I'm just focusing in. I see a very small. Like a small bone. It's not a child, but it's a small bone woman, um, and it's not in it's not in the property, but it's like around the house, um, like in a wooded area. Um, but I do feel she comes into the house from time to time. I don't have a name, um, but uh, almost like a white, like an old timey white nightgown, but it's like soiled, uh, hmm. and. Uh, her hair, it's blonde, reddish or blonde, but it's dirty. Um, I, th I think something happened to her, almost like in the woods, like in the, in like a, a foresty wood area. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. That That's what I'm getting. Hmm. Yeah, and I wasn't getting anything on that, so that's why I didn't say anything. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay. I was trying to, but I didn't... Um... And yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not drinking, guys. Remember, I have to drive after the show, so I'm not drinking. Yeah, she's 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 playing it uh, sober tonight. I hey, am. Hey, oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, and you can ask Moon. I don't need to drink to be this crazy. Oh no, no she's like this all the time. I am. Liz Brazette wants to know who is my spirit guide. What do you pick up? Let me let me see. Um, spirit guide, spirit guide. I pick up more than one, definitely. <clears throat> Two. Yeah, um, the female is the stronger one. Uh huh. Yes, that's. Uh, name starts with an L. Um, Lower right now. That's like a Lynn. It's longer than that, but Lynn would work. Lindsay, no. No, it's not that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I I I agree with you. It's with an L. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she is the stronger one, actually. Mm -hmm. There's two, mm -hmm. but uh, the female the female energy is the stronger one for sure. Yes, most definitely. You can you can call her by Lynn if that's what Moon's picking up that's there. That's what she said. That was okay because mm -hmm. I was trying to get the name. She said just Lynn. Lynn is fine. Okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, Ashley McClellan says, I don't have any questions tonight, just needing prayers, positive energy, light, love and light or whatever, because my 11 year old daughter is going through a difficult time where she has thought about committing suicide. Please prayers or whatever uh, is needed badly. Yeah, guys, if you could uh, concentrate in on that and help out, um, that's a really tough kind of bullying, um, situation. So, um, if you guys could really send some, some positive energy, healing, some strength, um, and, and guidance more so than anything else right now. Mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Um, I, it got away from me. Can you read uh, Leslie Martinez's message? I was going to read it, and then the, it, uh, it Leslie just... Leslie Martinez. I'm, I'm looking back. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to search through. I don't see it. I do not see it. You don't see it? No. It, like, I was going to read it, and it went through. It, like, it just, I lost it. If I see it pop back up, I will definitely uh, put okay. it in there. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, Rachel. Yes, Mon Ashley Clean. We Ashley Clean. Ashley King. That's good. She's always doing the cleansing. So I called her Ashley Clean. Right. Yes, Ashley King. We are still doing the cleansing. Okay, we will do it. Okay, uh, Rachel Mon says, "Me and my boyfriend are 22. Are uh, me and my boyfriend, our 22-month-old baby, just moved into a one-bedroom apartment on third floor. My baby was laughing for like a minute straight, as if someone was bending over, tickling her sides. Ghost, family member, uh, male. 
uh, family member. Um, very, very close to you. I want to say very close to you. Yes, absolutely. It's family, nothing to worry about. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do- uh, there's an interesting one uh, from Chelsea uh, Boot, Lee Chelsea Boot. She says, hi, Mooney and Dee. Can you guys see who my daughter brought home from the hospital? I see a shadow and heard it try to talk, but I have no idea what it said or who it is. I see an, like an old woman. Not getting anything. No? I see like an older woman, like an older woman. Not Nothing threatening, nothing bad, but it's an older woman. And the feeling I get is that this older woman thought your daughter was someone else, looked familiar to her. Like, look like somebody else, and it obviously wasn't, but that that's what I feel. But it's nothing threatening. That's interesting. Yeah, not a thing on that. I don't, I don't know why I just said that. I had one of those moments you had, but I, that's what I feel. Cool. Yeah, that's great. No, I got absolutely nothing on that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Gina Leone. Um, hello from Louisiana. Gina, come see us in uh, New Orleans, Metaphysical Resource Center, Friday. Yay. See you there. Yay. Um, hello from Louisiana. I feel like someone is trying to communicate with me. Nothing dark. Thank you. Uh, do, 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 do. This one. Um, uh, a man, uh, I want to say when he passed, he had to be, if I, I'm seeing him correctly, God, I'd say maybe early to mid 20s. Um, something associated with, it's definitely the property. He's definitely associated with that property right there. Um, and, uh, definitely sees the aura light around you. It's interesting because he wears pink. Um, Hmm. yeah, it's a, it's an interesting, like pink ornate kind of shirt, but he's trying Mm -hmm. to communicate with you, um, because he sees that you're able to communicate. So if you could just kind of open yourself up a little bit, I think he does want to speak with you. Yes. Awesome. Hey, stinky Steve. Sorry. (laughs) What? Stinky Steve. <laughs> Stinky Steve is in here with us. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Leslie Johnson Martinez says, Mooney and Dee, my nephews Eric and Tyler have court on Monday. Should they be worried? Can you tell me who – and can you tell me who my spirit guides are? Let's focus first on the first yeah. question, that her nephews Eric and Tyler have court on Monday. Should they be worried? Yeah, there, oh. there's definitely some concern around that from my side. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's not it's not what you want to hear. Um, yeah, I'd be I would be a little bit concerned about that. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, I hate giving bad news, but yeah, I do feel like you, uh, the vibe is right. You definitely do need to be concerned. And then, and then she wants to know if you can pick up on her spirit guides. The name Samuel, not Sam, but Samuel. Wow. Uh, I love when you do that. When what? you get it, when you get an exact name like that. Yeah, that one just hit me, Samuel, and it's the way he says it, too. It's very proper, Samuel. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's that's how he wants to be represented. Hmm. You're welcome, Gina. Glad we could help. Um, uh, Scott Wise, never had a reading before. Do you see anyone around me? Padawan, anything around Scott Wise? Hmm. Anything around him? I'm not picking up anything. See, Wait. No. Yep. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know if I'm right on this one, but I, I pick up like chaotic energy around him. Mm-hmm. Yes, right? Yes. And also, um, I want to say a grandmother figure uh, who's uh, been trying to communicate with him quite a bit as well. Mm-hmm. But I do get, get like like some chaotic energy around him. Nothing bad. Mm-hmm. Just like a lot. When Guys, when I when I... Describe it as chaotic. It's just like a lot happening um, in that, uh, whether it's emotions, whether it's a lot on the mind, whether it's uh, just. It could also be that 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 uh, grandmother energy trying to to communicate with him, so it causes that um, disturbance of the force, if you will. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. No, that does make sense. Um, and I I think that uh, if I'm right, he's had trouble trouble following him around a little bit for quite a while. mm Hmm. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps out a little bit. That's just the initial impressions. But this grandmother energy is uh, very strong, uh, trying to make up for for some things uh, they weren't able to uh, provide you in life. Um, okay, uh, I want to do this one really quickly because they're from Colorado. Um, Irene Canty Reynoso says, uh, uh, "Hello, Mooney and D. I'm from Millican, Colorado. My husband passed away two months ago in a work accident." 
um, if I file a wrongful death claim, will I win it, or should I just leave it as leave it as is? What should I do? Um, I read my my feeling on this, and I could have sworn we answered this one for you before. I'm getting almost a repeat here. Uh, yes, it's 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 definitely worth it. It's definitely uh, worth taking the time to uh, to to investigate this a little bit more. Not only mm-hmm. is it a financial aspect of things, but I feel like you're going to get answers that you never would have known if you don't investigate this. Um, and there's also going to be a message that comes through out of this. So uh, yes, I do feel you need to do it. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I agree with you. I definitely agree with you. And I also feel like we did answer this one, but there's a lot, a lot of them that sound familiar. So maybe not, but I, just by looking at this, uh, uh the question, I, I, I feel like she definitely, definitely has to, uh, file a, a wrongful death, um, and, and, and pursue that. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, I'm going to go really quickly here. Uh, Karen Banks, I have ghosts or spirits in my house and some travel with us to, to stores. Uh, pranks, some injuries, broken stuff. Uh, SB7, uh, they say they will have like a portal highway. So it basically it might be a vortex inside the house. Um, one thing that you can do in those cases is uh, uh, run EVP sessions or, or whatever communication device that you have and uh, ask them where they uh, where they come and go through. Uh, mm. Ask her ask her if, 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 if she feels like – like you don't get the feeling that maybe they're kind of attracted to her? Oh, I definitely do, but I feel that the portal is, is uh, wide open in the house right now too. Okay. So yeah, I would. What I was going to say about that is, is that uh, if you're feeling uncomfortable, because the one thing I was good with I, when I heard pranks and they follow you around, but when you start hearing about injuries, I don't like that at all. Yeah. Um, so what I would do, if it was me, what I would do is I would close that portal. I would salt it and, and close it up. Um, if you need instructions on how to do that, please feel free to reach out to us. We can uh, we can help you out with instructions. Definitely. On how to close a portal. Mm-hmm. Um, I did want to jump to this one because it's drawn me in. Uh, Alicia uh, Wardlow says, my boyfriend of almost nine years, best friend, died in a bad car accident a few years ago. And he says he's seen orbs. Can you please tell me if he's here? Uh, and can you please tell me my spirit guide? Uh, Alicia, I do want to tell you that yes, but he's he's crossed. He uh, has crossed mm-hmm. through the light and he's basically just trying to make communication to let everybody know that he is okay and he's over. Um, so don't feel like he's stuck or trapped. I don't get that impression at all. So uh, please let whoever might need to know um, that he's okay. He is crossed. Um, as far as your guides, um, it's interesting with yours. I see all females and I see several, uh, at least three. Mm-hmm. The name uh, uh, Maddie or Madeline uh, comes huh. to mind. I was going to say an M name. Yeah. Funny. Maddie, Maddie or Madeline, yeah. And mm-hmm. uh, she she is kind of the one who, who runs the show, runs it for everybody else. So uh, please uh, please pay attention when she tries to talk to you. She's a little bit frustrated. Hmm. Oh, and Karen does say that she, she's had uh, spirits around her all of her life, basically. Okay, yeah. I got that, that feeling when, when I was looking at the question you were reading, and I thought, well, I, I feel like they're also – attracted to her like they're 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 um drawn to her yeah absolutely i do see that mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. james Schroll, i did i did see that you wanted me to do a reading for uh angie or uh i'm sorry i just lost the name uh angie yeah angie rose um i don't see a question but angie if you want to put your question back in please please do um Scott, who we did a reading for just a minute ago, said, I was really close with my grandmother and things are pretty chaotic right now. So that does huh. make sense uh, on both sides. And having some health issues diagnosed awesome. with uh, cerebral ataxia. Ataxia, I'm sorry, I can barely. Uh, oh, I'm that. so sorry to, yeah. sorry to hear that. Sorry about that, Scott. But that, that does make sense that she's around you trying to help out. Uh, the chaotic mm-hmm. energy makes sense as well. So uh, yeah. if there's anything else we can do, uh, if you need a private reading, please feel free to contact us. We put all those links in if you're if you're uh, in need of that. Definitely. If you want a private reading, contact either one of us, and we'll be happy to help you with that. Um, always, yeah. Always. Mm-hmm. Um, Ashley King says, Moon, uh, here's a question. When someone goes through the light, why? Why haven't my family gone through the light, or did they? Um, when somebody doesn't cross through to the light, I think we talked a little bit about this before, but uh, basically uh, intelligent spirits move straight through because because they, they are completely aware of who they are. Uh, they're the strongest spirits. They know who they are. They know where they are. They can come and go as they please. Earthbound spirits who don't cross through the light essentially block themselves off from the next world as well as our world, going into a state of purgatory. No time, no companionship, like a bad dream uh, state. And uh, the reason that they don't cross through the light is because they fear of punishment 
uh, on the other side. And uh, the truth is, is that there is no punishment on the other side. The punishment comes in the middle ground. So uh, we help a lot of spirits cross through the light because it just helps their evolution move along faster. Uh, but it really is a self-imposed hell. Mm-hmm. That's right. You're welcome, that's Scott. That's right. That's right. Hold on. Oh, this thing froze on me. I can't see the messages. You can have to keep reading the because I can't see them. Okay. Uh, Christine Granada says, who do I keep seeing around the house? Is it the same spirit my husband keeps seeing? Yes, it is. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. That was easy. Uh, <laughs> what do you have to say about that? No, I agree with you, but you, you finished it up and came in. <laughs> you took out my knees, and I know how it happened. It's all right. It just. Guess. It came to me right away. Yeah, you got it. Ouch. Um, <laughs> no, I'll be fine. Um, oh. No, you should be proud because then you could be, see, guys, my Padawan. No, she's good. Padawan's good. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. The, the name just drew me in here. So Batgirl Angel, wait, Batgirl Angel uh, Giard, Giardino? Giardino, Giardino. What are you reading? Batgirl Angel Giardino. Giardino. Okay. Uh, says, hello there. My father passed Giordano. away. Giordano. Giordano. Thank you. Um, <laughs> hello. My father passed away last year. My bed was shaking around 2.30 a.m. and woke me up. I've seen black figures and was waking up with whispering in my ear. I was wondering uh, who and what this is. Whispering in uh, your Yeah. I'm not getting that that's your father at all. Mm -mm. Um, no. That's that's not what I'm picking up. That almost threw me off a little bit. Yeah, um, me too. I don't like that. that yeah, that. the black figure bothers me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. And the whispering in the ear. Yeah. I have experience with that. That's not always a good thing. And it's not always bad, but more often than not, it's not a good thing. Right. I do agree with you on that one. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Both you and I, Moon, have had experiences with the whispering in the ear. Yeah, so. that's not, not the best thing sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. try, try to uh, cleanse yourself. Try to ground a little bit and see if that makes a difference. And then let us sea know. Sea salt. Yeah, sea salt is big. Uh, you can actually do a sea salt bath, too. Sometimes yes. those work. Uh, yes. Let's see. Helena says, are my parents together and with my grandma? Yeah, uh, you actually have... I'm trying to see. Yes, at least it's at least nine uh, that are all together right now. And yes, they are together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely feel like they're together as well. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. Uh, Brandy says, last night when I was falling asleep, I felt something touching my face. Uh, and as I was falling asleep, I kept jumping awake. Who was it? Any messages for me? Who are my spirit guides? Um, oh, a lot of questions. Okay. Uh, falling asleep, felt something touching my face. Okay. And as I was falling asleep, I kept jumping. Okay. Uh, trying to go ahead. Uh, as far as the touching your face, I I'm picking up family. Um, yeah, I don't get anything bad, nothing negative. Somebody that wants to get your attention and actually give you a message is what yeah. I'm getting. And I'm actually picking up on an aunt, not not a not a uh, mother or anything, but but like an aunt, aunt. Well, how'd you say that? Aunt. An aunt. An aunt. Why'd you say an aunt? Because <laughs> I like to say it like that. You guys She's... all heard it here. He said aunt. 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 <laughs> I'm picking up on aunt. <laughs> yes, it's an aunt. <laughs> I was trying to get a hold of you. What? It's how you say it. It's very natural. <laughs> no, it's not aunt. Aunt. <laughs> aunt is a small bug and aunt is a, is a family member. My aunt. Okay, I'm going to start saying aunt. My aunt is coming over to see me today. My aunt. <laughs> okay. I'll never let so, it down. No, you won't. <laughs> Karen says it's now a British show. It is. It is now a British show, and we are going to welcome all the lovely aunts in the chat room. <laughs> Please, you... hashtag aunt, and let us know if you are an aunt, and if you are your niece's and nephew's favorite aunt. I would like to know. Please. S Scott says, now I need to do a royal wave. Uh, <laughs> yes, James do. says, auntie, auntie. <laughs> John did a little snort. Ooh, Tammy is an aunt. Anybody else is an aunt out there, please? Let me know. <laughs> Why are you doing this? It's not right. But I just feel that if you're going to say aunt, we need to talk properly then. It's not It's not one of those shows, is it? <laughs> you're going to sit here and make fun of it. It's not even... You don't want to do it like that. <laughs> you 
You're, ma- you're making a mockery of the entire thing. <laughs> you sound so good. <laughs> I've been hiding my accent for how long now, and you just do. <laughs> Now you're going to out me like this. It's crazy. Just because I said the word on. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It's Let's fine. go back no, to it. Let's just get back to it now. It's fine. Let's really. Let's get back to it in the message. Go ahead. Please. Fine. Christine Granado says, any messages for me from Bruce? I can't be serious now. <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you haven't listened, there's a snort. If you haven't listened to the show, we do break out into uh, some pretty bizarre stuff every once in a while. I apologize. <clears throat> yes, hi, Goat. Goat is in there. Say hi to Goat. He's always hey, saying hi. Jeff the Goat. What's up? What's up? What's up? He said, I send you to the post. He sent his post on the house. Oh, on the so, Bel Air. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. we've had a lot of requests to actually go out and do an event at the Bel Air house. So. We need to go do a Moondy stop over there. Yeah, we could. We could do a Moondy tour over there. Mindy. <laughs> Mindy, Mindy. Stop. Why are you doing it now, right? It's like I'm trying to do the show and you're going to ruin it. Every time I try to jump in, it's like you got you to ruin it every time. You sound so good. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, my God. This is great. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, guys, so we, we're, we, we only actually have about five minutes left in the show because this was a quick one tonight. It never seems like an hour is enough, does it? No, we can go a little longer. I'm all ready to go, so we can go a little bit longer. Well, you might be able to, but maybe someone else has to park, right? Maybe somebody has other things to do. I feel like we owe it to them because we were being very Why? silly. Why? We were being very silly no, and we didn't answer enough questions. It's, so your, it's your own fault. I think it's your own fault. Don't blame me. Don't I'll you dare. blame you. I'll blame you all day. Don't you dare. <laughs> Why do I have to laugh first? I'm trying. I'm sorry, guys. So, oh. Sometimes we just have to bust into these different things. Hey, I did want to, really quickly, I do want to talk to you guys about uh, some stuff we got going on. Um, I just wanted to tell you. Okay, so um, once again, so you guys know, uh, if you are in New Orleans, you need to come see us. If you're in or around New Orleans, anywhere mm-hmm. near, this Friday night, 7 p.m., Metaphysical Resource Center. Go to chrismoonpsychic.com for information on how you can get tickets for that. Um, it is close to sold out, as far as I know right now. Uh, we will be on Saturday. Uh, we will be doing private readings all day in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. And uh, then I am going to be uh, at East Carolina. Carolina with Mama Moon on the 26th um, of September um, coming up here in the next couple of days doing a Moon Family Psychic Experience for the students over there and then I'm going to be at Eastern Kentucky University uh, on Tuesday, October 3rd um, and then dun, 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 that's my long one <laughs> Wednesday October 4th Okay. It'll be a very special edition of Box Talk. There will be. Followed immediately by the <gasps> premiere. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I remember. Guys, listen to him. I interrupted. Go on, Moonster. <laughs> Wednesday, October 4th, there will be a very special edition of Box Talk with Mooney and D. Followed by the world premiere of Ghost Box Chronicles 6. Yes! Yes! And you guys don't want to miss it because it's the what? It's the continuation of? The Stagecoach Inn. You don't want to miss it, guys. If you saw episode 5 and you're like, what happens? What's going to happen? You got to see episode 6 to see what happens. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to air here on Paranormal Warehouse, right where you are right now, Paranormal Warehouse on Facebook. It's going to stream live. And then immediately, immediately after the show, we're going to do Live Inside the Box. That's live, right. Live Inside the Box is going to have D. Garcia. It's going to have Christopher Moon. It's going to have Jim from Hauntology Productions. We might bring in a couple of other special guests. Maybe Alan Cornelian Sr. will show up. and Cornelius. be on <laughs> Sr. will be on the show. And it will be amazing. Amazing. It will be incredible. It will be outstanding. It will be. And then, hey guys, so we're excited about that. That I wanted to tell you, I'm going to be on TV on um, Thursday, 
uh, October 5th uh, in the morning. I'm going to be on uh, Fox uh, 31 KDVR on Colorado's Best. They're doing a, a feature on Ghost Box Book. Um, so we are, we are going to be doing, uh, my mom and I are going to be on about a 15 minute segment about the show and we're going to be doing a live ghost box session on air. So if you're in Colorado, definitely check that out. They might be streaming it live on their website too. It's kdvr.com. If you guys want to go check it out, I think you can see it there. Um, then I also wanted to tell you that on Friday, 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 October 6th, mm-hmm. we are doing, <gasps> oh yeah, man. I don't know what I don't know what he's saying. I'm just trying to be a cheerleader. You sounded excited, so I'm cheering. What's 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 October sixth? I'm trying to be your cheerleader. That's what I do. It's gonna be dead stock in Iowa at the Periwinkle. Join us for Moon Family Psychic Experience Friday night, followed by the craziest, craziest, craziest night of karaoke metal piercings tattoos that's right and then on Good saturday the same thing with all that crazy <laughs> stuff that same night so come hang out with us it's gonna be really cool it's gonna be fun we're gonna have a good time then i want to tell you one more thing i can't say too much about this i want to really say stuff about this but I oh i know what i know what this one is mm-hmm. I, I can't say what i it won't is. say anything okay guys i am not sure on wednesday october 11th don't look at Ashley King's comment. On Wednesday, October 11th, mm-hmm. Mama Moon and I are going to be in New York City. Why are we going to be in New York City? I'm not going to say. That's a great question because I am not aware of what time said thing is going to take place. But I want to tell you, one of the most amazing opportunities that's ever happened for the moons, people in the paranormal, anything along those lines is going to happen on Wednesday. Okay, you're saying too much. Stop. On Wednesday, October 11th. Stay tuned for information because this is going to blow your friggin' mind. Guys, then, you're not supposed to be talking about that because the moon's going to see it. And then on the 12th of October, I'm going to be mm-hmm. at the College of St. Joseph in mm-hmm. uh, in uh, Rutland, Vermont. And uh, Mama Moon and I will be out there. It'll be fun. I'm not going to give you the rest of the schedule. I don't want to bore you guys. But that's uh, a lot of cool kind of stuff is happening. Um, so, yeah, keep keep in touch. Stay tuned and all the kind of fun stuff. But anyway, guys, we're, we're wrapping up the show for tonight. I got to go Are pack. we wrapping up? Yeah, I got to pack. You don't want to answer can, a few more questions? You got to start driving. No, nah, we got to go for tonight. <laughs> but uh, Well, good. You didn't see what they were saying in there. I already there. saw it. Oh. You'll, you'll pay for that later. Uh, yeah, hair color. I already got it. Um, so, anyway. but moon, it's not an outrageous color. Okay, guys. So, um, I'm gonna. I need to uh, get off the air so I can yell at D for a little while, and then uh, <laughs> make sure she's got plenty of time to get on the road and drive. That's really important. That's okay. Really important. You. <laughs> What's wrong with that? It's, it's a good color. It's a good color. Everyone thinks you don't. You want to know how many box talkers gave me the thumbs up? Uh-huh. There's only one box talker that matters. <laughs> All the box talkers when gave it, me the. Thumbs when it comes to hair color, there's only one box talker that matters. <laughs> and that is. Moi. <laughs> what is this, this just is it, it? just ask my aunt. Ask my aunt. She should, should, should tell you. Ask who? <laughs> my aunt. Oh, your aunt. You want me to ask your aunt? And Just ask my aunt. Think, she'll tell you. you she knows. She'll like she knows. If I, if no, I she's not going to like it. She's not going to like it. No. You don't think? No, you've seen, a, you've seen enough of that one. No. Let's, Why not? Just don't, I, even, don't, just don't even talk about it. It's not even something you want to bring up. <laughs> but I think it's it to look wonderful if, I, if I'm super dark and look good, you know? No, it won't. It's just, it's awful. It's dreadful, really, is what it is. So, Colette, don't get mad at us. <laughs> we love you, Colette. <laughs> what did Colette say? Nothing. I just saw her there. I'm like, oh, Colette, no. <laughs> the thing is, 
I'll tell you what. You know what my daughter has told me? My daughter has told me that she wishes we were British. She likes really? to talk like that. Really? She likes yeah. to talk like that, does she? <laughs> oh, look at that. See? Ashley McCollum says she wants to dye her hair blue. Ashley, but I think, Ashley, I think your hair would look awesome blue. Go for it. Oh, but I'm not going to go blue. I'm going to go you have black. The bl- you have the blessings be- of the moon. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go black. And it's going to be so dark that it's going to be blue black. Daniel said it would look cool. Yeah. And uh, Kendall <laughs> says blue black will look great on D. Um, I, I just going to say no. That does not. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if that turns out okay. <laughs> We'll just see how that all plays out. We'll have to see how that goes. One of these days, I will have blue-black hair. Yes. And I will show up on this show and I'll say, look at my hair, Mooney. Do you like it? And I'll say, no, it's terrible. It's dreadful. <laughs> no, I don't like it at all. You'll give me the Simon, you'll give me the, the Simon Cowell. That is the worst hair color. <laughs> that is the worst hair I've ever seen. <laughs> I literally vomited when I saw your hair. <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am bad. Uh, anyways, guys, on that note, everybody wish Dee a safe, happy drive to San Antonio. Wish me a safe, happy drive to San Antonio. I got to drive tonight, and I leave early in the morning. I yeah. do. Oh, look, Colette says Liverpool accent rules. They do, don't they? Really? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Colette. Sorry if we've offended we you. We love you. No, yeah. With our we're terrible not... accents. Like, it probably sounds like, horrible to them. Like, what, we think it's Oh, yeah, good. yeah. We're like, oh, we're good. doing wonderful, aren't we? We're great. <laughs> and then all, then they come out and they're like, listen to my American accent. Hello, how are you? Ha, uh, ha, uh, ha. Uh. That's what they do. <laughs> Thank you to everyone saying safe travel, safe drive. Thank you yeah, very guys, much. Yeah, she's got a long drive tonight, so please send her some uh, positive energy, light, get her where she needs to be. So and that I don't fall asleep. She's got to get to NOLA. She's going to get to NOLA. Right. That's right. That's right. Very important. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love you guys. Yeah, this guys. Was fun. Yeah, sorry think... it was such a short show, and sorry we only answered a few questions. We were kind of in a goofy mood. Yes. <laughs> But it, it was kind bad. of, but it was kind of a celebration because you know Mama Moon is uh, she's been given right. a clean bill of health, mm-hmm. and uh, we just want to uh, we want to be happy. We want everybody to uh, thank everybody for for all the positive love and wishes and healing, and right. uh, we just wanted to come in here and have a good time. Uh, for those who are struggling right now, going through some bad stuff, know that uh, us and all the uh, other box talkers are thinking of you and sending you uh, the same positive energy you've sent out to us. So that's right. Thank, thank you, you guys. so much. Thank you. And guys. real quick, guys, please remember to send out all the positive energy and prayers you can to uh, uh, Vanessa, the, the young lady here from Brownsville, Texas, that um, that had that terrible car accident <clears throat> a few uh, days ago. Uh, her name was Vanessa, what did I say? Um, what was it? Vanessa Perez. Vanessa Perez. Um, I was going to say Peña, no, but it's Vanessa Perez. And just please, please pray for her, pray for her family. They're going through a rough time right now. And just... Everybody that needs love and light out there, we send it to you. We love yes. you all very much. Thank you for – oh, look, I see Bon. Thank yes. you for for joining us. Um, we promise to bring you a more complete show next week. Promise. Um, and actually, you'll probably see us going live from NOLA, right? Yeah, we'll be going in several times, I'm sure, through New Orleans. Yeah, we will. We will be. Love you guys very much. Thank you all for all the support. Love you guys. Uh, to everybody in the chat room, Colette, Linda, Daniel, Vicky Joe Smith, who else is in there? Maria Rodriguez, Kendall Nasworth, um, Ashley McCollum, Ashley King, Kyle, Robin, Jeff, the goat, Brandy, Philip. Oh my gosh, everybody. Becca, I'm saying hi. April, Don, Took. Um, Everyone in there, love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you for everybody in Mixler. Everyone that's in Mixler, thank you for joining us. Uh, Liz Brissette, David, everyone else that was in the Mixler chat room earlier. I know everybody went to Facebook Live because they love to see our beautiful faces. But thank you so much, guys. Wish me luck on my drive. It's got, I got a four-hour drive. I got to head out in a couple of hours, probably actually in about an hour. Got to start heading out there. So I soon. love you all very much. Love you, love you. Um, smile and remember to make someone else smile too, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. See you next time.